BigQuery enables you to democratize data and business insights across your organization. But keeping a BigQuery data safe and secure means sharing access only with authorized users. In this video, you will learn how to use Identity and Access Management or IAM to provide fine-grained access control to users, including which permissions are necessary to access data in tables and to run queries within a project. You will also learn how to troubleshoot and resolve some common permission errors in BigQuery. Using IAM, you can grant individual permissions or bundles of permissions called roles to a user. Let's take a look at some common BigQuery tasks and which permissions they require. First up, accessing BigQuery table data. This action requires the BigQuery table's get data permission. The BigQuery data viewer IAM role has this permission and provides the ability to read data and metadata. You can grant this role at a table or view level, at a dataset level to encompass all tables within the dataset, or at the organization or project levels. Next up, running queries requires the BigQuery jobs create permission. This permission allows you to create and run jobs including queries, and in turn, have them built to that project's billing account. The predefined IAM role BigQuery job user has this permission and is granted at a project level. Here are a few important things to remember. A dataset and its underlying tables do not need to be in the same project where the query is being run. That is, if a user has the BigQuery data viewer role for a specific dataset or table, then that user can run query jobs for that data from any project in which they have the BigQuery job user role. Resources in Google Cloud are organized hierarchically in the following order, organizations, projects, datasets, and then tables. Resources inherit the allow policies of the parent resource. Granting a role to the user at a specific level will provide the permissions of that role at all levels lower than that level. For example, granting the BigQuery Data Viewer IAM role at the project level will provide the permissions of this role to this user for all datasets and tables in a specific project. To keep your data secure, use the principle of least privilege. Grant the most limited predefined or custom role with bare minimum permissions necessary for the user to perform their job. Now, Let's troubleshoot and resolve some common permission errors encountered while accessing BigQuery tables. In this first scenario, I'll try to query data from a BigQuery table. I'm going to open a Cloud Shell session and execute the following BQ command to query data from the table Shakespeare in the public dataset Samples. Hmm, I see an error. This error indicates that the user does not have BigQuery jobs create permission required to create the BigQuery job in the specific project. To investigate this issue, the first step is to determine which user is trying to execute the job, which we can do in cloud logging. We can go there directly by searching for Logs Explorer. We'll set the time interval to the specific duration when we observe the error. For this case, I'll set it as the last 15 minutes as we just encountered the error. Next, we'll use this filter to search the past errors related to creating BigQuery jobs. Ah, this looks to be the one that we are looking for. We can expand the fields and narrow it down to the authentication info principal email field. There you go. This is the user which has insufficient permissions. To resolve this issue, we'll go to the IAM page. Here, we can grant the user the BigQuery job user IAM role which has the required permissions to create BigQuery jobs. I'll execute the BigQuery command again and now we can see that it completes and we get the query results. Let's now jump into the next scenario where I'll try to access a BigQuery table maintained in a different project. I'll start a Cloud Shell session which is configured to use the project BigQuery Project 7. This time, I'll execute a BQ command to create a BigQuery job with a querying table data that resides in the project BQ Datasets 3000. Oh, I see a new error. This error indicates that the user doesn't have the permissions to access the data in the table in project BQ Datasets 3000. Similar to the previous scenario, we can determine the user trying to execute this job by heading to cloud logging from project BigQuery project 7. There you go. This is the user which has insufficient permissions to the table in project BQ datasets 3000. Recall from our discussion on BigQuery IAM prerequisites, you must have the BigQuery data viewer IAM role to query data in the BigQuery tables. You can resolve this issue by granting the BigQuery Data Viewer IAM role to the user in Project BQ Datasets 3000 at a Project Dataset or Table level. I'll do this at a table level. In the project containing the table, let's go to BigQuery SQL Workspace page. 
navigate to the table that the query is trying to access. Click on Share and grant the user with BigQuery Data Viewer IAM role, which has the required permissions to access and query this table. Note that when granting dataset table or view level access, you will do so from the BigQuery console rather than the IAM page. Now let's try to execute the BQ command again. And it completes. The permission error is resolved and we as the user are returned the query results. For learning more about BigQuery access controls, please check out this documentation. Thanks for watching.